So as you can see, in my golf bag today, I've got a set of the new Callaway irons. These are a set of blades from four to pitching wedge. And you'll notice I have no woods in my bag, no wedges, no putter. I'm only gonna use four down to pitching wedge. I'm gonna make it interesting. My phone is gonna decide what club I hit. I'm gonna have a random number generator on my phone from four to 10, 10 being the pitching wedge. And before each shot, I'm gonna hit select, and that's the club I'm gonna choose. Now that might throw up a few challenges. It might mean I'm hitting a nine iron or a pitching wedge off a par five tee, for example. I might be in a four iron when I need a bump and run around the greens or in a green side bunker. It's definitely gonna be quite a test. So there's three main reasons why I'm doing this video. The first being, Blades are actually quite hard to review. Year on year, not much changes. It's not much of a technology story. All that blades claim to do is be very versatile and workable. So around the golf course like this today, where I have to be versatile and creative, this is gonna be a great test for this set of irons. Number two, it's actually quite good practice. Going out on a golf course where you've got to try and hit different shots than what you're used to. It actually gets you as a golfer more, be more creative and it'll help your game improve. It's definitely worth trying sometimes, just hitting clubs that you wouldn't normally hit, certainly in practice. And then the last reason, if I'm honest, it's just going to be a bit of fun. Why not, eh? I watch a lot of GM golf where they'll go out on the golf course and just do a random challenge and I like it, I enjoy it. By the way, guys, if you want to see next year, me do a collaboration with Garrett and the lads over there in the States, Hit like and we'll see if we can set it up. Without further ado, let's get to the first tee and let's see what club I'm going to have to hit into this very testing par three. So 11th hole, it's a par three, slightly up the hill. It's 182 yards. So really, probably in these conditions today, I'd be hitting a six or five iron ideally. So let's see what club I'm going to be hitting. I've got between four and 10. Eight iron I'm hitting. So I'm not going to reach the green, I doubt. But that's the club I'm going to start off with. Uh, these clubs are gorgeous. Callaway Apex MB, they are so tiny. You know what's really interesting? You can always tell it's a proper blade when the, the neck, the hosel looks quite thick. Beautiful looking iron, definitely going to be more suited to the better player. Uh, lofts are quite traditional, I'll stick them up on screen here. So again, I'm not, they're not power irons. I don't expect to hit there even close, but let's see if we can start off with a strong shot. Oh, it's up the right. Tried to get a bit more distance out of it, but I'm way, way short as expected. So this is the shot I've got in hand. I'm about 40 yards short of the green. So that means that first shot probably went about 140 yards, which is about right. Ideally, my most lofty club in the bag here is pitching wedge. That'd be the one I'd want. So that'd be number 10 on my list. Let's see what I actually get. Great, six iron. What's gonna make this shot a little bit harder, that lie isn't particularly great. Uh, I'm going to have to really open the face, try and play a little lofted flop shot. Pin again's not helping me because it's at the front right. Oh, this is going to be tough. I tell you what, I tell you what, that's pretty good. We're on the putting green and I'm going to again choose a random club even on the green. I was impressed with that. To make it harder, it's even raining. <laughs> I'm impressed with the shot. I'm not gonna lie to you. On the green, it actually weirdly landed unbelievably quick. We've got this putt left. Now what I'm gonna do, whatever club this spits out this time, I'm gonna put just with that club on this green. So let's see what we've got. Obviously I want low loft ideally. Uh, nine iron, not the worst case. I have to play it with the front edge a little bit. 9-9 nine, nine from here, let's see if we're going to open with a, a very long range par. Got to say these irons look really nice, I do like the shape, but not particularly for putting. <laughs> Come on. It wasn't a bad roll, was it really? <laughs> uh, not a gimme. Let's see if we knock this one in for bogey. Oh! joking me that was close right that is in for five. Oh, that's a bit disappointing okay next hole is this par four and then i've actually got a par five to come which will be really interesting because <laughs> uh depends on what clubs i get selected and you know what i'm going to do last year i uh, took place of a, in a 14 club challenge you might have seen it with at wentworth with pete it didn't particularly go to plan 
not saying, not saying it kindly. So what I think I'm gonna do, I might revisit something similar on the par three 14th hole. So stay tuned for that. Um, ideal scenario here, obviously I'd be hitting driver. So ideally I want a long club followed by a short club, but let's see what this picks out for me. Six iron again. Okay, if I get six iron, maybe nine iron, that'd be, I think that would be the perfect scenario. But I can, uh, at least I can jump on this six iron a bit. Don't go in the bunker. All right, just past the bunker. Not the greatest shot. Um, this is less, less than ideal. I've missed the bunker, which is a positive, <laughs> but because I'm right-handed, I'm gonna have to stand in the bunker to hit this next shot. Ideally, if, if we're, I'd love a pitching wedge number 10. I would hate anything too less lofted. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so 10 is my pitching wedge. I actually can't believe it's come out like that. 10 is my pitching wedge. Um, I'm going to grip down on it. Oh, even this isn't easy. I must admit, it's, it's not the worst club, obviously, but it's still not easy. Oh, oh Rick, bloody hell. I got the club I wanted and I hit it terrible. Oh, that's awful. You know what's gonna happen now, don't you? I'm probably gonna get a four iron. When I need a wedge, it's gonna kill me. Should we, should we do it early? Let's see what I'm gonna get. Six iron again, it likes that six iron, doesn't it? Talk about difficulty. I am 50 yards away. I've got to hit a flop shot with a six iron over a bunker, over a hill. Um, Wish me luck. Ah, oh, no, it's in the bank. That was horrible. It's wet as well, by the way. It's not stopped raining. That wasn't great. Um, there's one advantage at the moment, because it's the winter. You do his preferred lie, so I can pick it up, clean it, and place it back down again. Okay, ideally again, I want number 10. Number seven. Mm, not the worst case. Go, go, go. I need that bloody six iron again, didn't I? <laughs> it's not bad. We've got a chance for a five. You know what? I don't care which club's going to come up this time because I'm going to hold it. Hit the button. Six iron. <laughs> it loves that six iron. Told you. When I say I'm going to hold a shot, I do it. Right. I'm taking things serious. Jacket's coming off. It's stopped raining. We're on a par five. It's 520 yards off this tee. So I don't want a pitching wedge to kick things off. I don't normally say this, but I'd, I'd love to hit the four iron if I'm honest with you. Five iron, that's okay. That's not a bad start. Ow! Ow! Oh, that hurt my hands a lot. I didn't hit that one well, but it's managed to get down there, luckily. That's one of the big issues with blades. Certainly when you try and absolutely smash it as I did then, if you don't hit it well and you thin it, it bloody hurts your hands. It's horrible. Six iron again. Okay, so I don't think it's a full one of these. I'm gonna grip down it a tiny bit and hit it a touch softer. Uh, if I can go for the middle of the green, I'd be delighted. Just need to make sure I get a good strike, because obviously, sand's a little bit wet at the moment. Oh, that is good. Zoom in on that flag. Sit down a little bit, ball. No! I've hit it too good. It's gone through the green. I'll be honest, I can't hit it any better than that. If anything, I hit it too good. Okay, so that's where it's finished, just over the green, which is annoying. If you spin around, I'll show you what I've got left. And again, ideal, I need loft, let's be honest. Um, so a nine or a 10. Nine, that's lucky. Sit, 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 sit. Oh, it's just come out a bit hot. That was annoying, I thought I hit that well, actually. 
Okay, I've got a power port. I've just hit the uh, generator, four iron. So it's the, the flattest face club at least. I could have done with this off the tee or my second shot if I'm honest, but I won't grumble putting with the four iron. Come on, this is for par. This was my best chance, I feel like, on this hole. Oh, I've not hit it, Rick. That was terrible, I hit that way too soft. For six on this par five. It's not terrible. <laughs> it could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. Okay, four over through three holes there. Not the best, but it was always gonna be a challenge, a very difficult one at that. Now, I've wanted to redeem myself for a while now. If you remember, back in September 2019, at Wentworth, the 14 club challenge with Peter Finch. Um, it didn't go well. In fact, it was horrendous. <laughs> so I want to try and redeem myself on, on our 14th hole here at the Marriott Worsley Park. I've got seven clubs in the bag from pitching wedge to four iron. I'm going to see how many shots I can hit on the green. I'll hit one with each club and hopefully the best score I can get is seven. Now the green starts at 120 yards and goes back to 160. So there's a bit of leeway there. It's gonna definitely get harder when I'm trying to hit four iron into the green. So I'll start with wedge and then work my way up. Let's see if we can at least hit the green this time, eh? Okay, seven balls, seven clubs, one green. I'm gonna start off with pitching wedge first. I think I'm gonna need to jump on this to get it onto the front edge, but hopefully we should start strong. Oh, I've actually thinned it right into the middle of the green. <laughs> Wasn't pretty, but it's on. Okay, nine iron, this should be a little bit easier. This is just a normal nine, I feel. Oh no. Oh, bunker right. Tried to play it too soft and I didn't need to. Oh, bit annoyed at that last one. Eight iron next, this should be just a normal one. I just need to make sure I commit to the shot. I'm not very good at these challenges, am I? That's gone miles to the right. Miss green, over the bunker and everything. Horrendous. You know what's annoying? It's my favorite par three. Every time I test clubs on here, when there's no pressure, I'm unbelievable. I've nearly had so many holding ones this year on this hole. As soon as a bit of pressure where you've just got to hit the green, suddenly it goes, doesn't go to plan. And what's really hard, if you start missing the greens with the clubs that you're supposed to hit the green with, it definitely applies more pressure. Next club, seven iron. This should still be a normal one. I'm probably just not allowing for that wind coming off the left. So I'm going to aim slightly left on this one. Wind, simmer, back edge, just. <laughs> Two on the green, two miss the green. Next one, six iron. I'm gonna take a little bit off it because that's that seven iron's right at the back of the green. Land soft, land soft, near the seven iron. That's all right, we're on the green. That's three on, two missed. <laughs> at least we've got some points on the board. Next club, five iron. Oh no, I faded it. Catch a bit of the green, that's not again, that's long, missed, green, right. Three on the green, three missed. Then we come to the last club, the four iron, which is probably gonna be the hardest one. Um, little summary of the irons, they are actually really nice. They're not forgiving, the blades, obviously. Um, they do look fantastic, they feel phenomenal, but like I said, anything you don't hit in the middle of the club face, you just get punished for. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video as well, hit like. And if you want to see me do an 18 hole challenge like this randomly, also hit like. I've learned two things I think today. One, I'm probably not good enough to use blades. Two, I'm not very good at hitting the green in a challenge like this. <laughs> Let's finish with the last one, the four iron. Can I at least finish with four on the green? Sit, 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 sit. Bloody hell, Rick, you're rubbish at this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.